fantastic. Thank you. you know? You're doing you're doing great, aren't you? I am. I'm doing really the well. The show, the platinum hit, is is a hit. I like it. You, did you, you saw the I first? I saw it and I like it. You did good. Yes. I'm glad you like it. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. It's you know it's. So many people, I don't think they even understand what songwriters do. You know, it's like, what is a songwriter? Is that a real job? I know my. I just think it has to rhyme. Yeah. So I made a lot of money going sun, fun, bun, and throwing a melody <laughs> on it, you know? <laughs> so tonight is the finale of American Idol. Yes. Let's talk about that. There are two teen country singers. Right. It's got to be hard to be on American Idol. It's got to be hard to be a teen singer. Oh my God. I mean, it, it, Scary. Is there it a career be. after American Idol? It's not guaranteed. Well, I think it's interesting that they're in country because country is like the healthiest market. They sell the most records right now. And I think, you know, 16, 17, what are they going to do in the pop market? It's all about like drinking and sex and rock and roll. I mean, you can't come out with a single like that. Well, don't say it like that. Well, yeah. no, I like that. But, you know, no, I, I mean, you know, for us it's cool, but for a 16 year old. So, you know, they'll, they'll do something. Wait a minute. About so you don't think 16 year olds drink? And have well, sex. I, I mean, they do. Get they do, but these are like 16 country Christian kids, aren't they? Oh, don't, don't make me seem like the devil. I'm just saying. Okay, I hear you, though. I'm just I saying. Hear you. You know? I hear you. And they're young, and so I hope whoever gets a hold of them, you know, just really protects them because it's, it's a hard industry. You know that it's a tough yeah, business. It's tough, man. Every business is tough. This business is. business is tough. Yes, it is. And, and it's. Have you written country music? I have, you know, the first time I went down there was like 10 years ago, and I'm from New York, so I got a yeah. big potty mouth, and I was like, F this, F that, and they were like, ma'am, <laughs> we'd really appreciate it if you keep the cursing to a minimum. We're, <laughs> we're God-fearing folks here, and I was like, oh, I'm never coming back. No way, I'm never going back to Nashville. You could use profanity. No, they were like, ma'am, really, God-fearing. And I was like, oh, all right, you know, I'm God fearing too. I'm Italian Catholic, but yeah. we could curse, you know? Yeah. So, um, that's how you get the point across. Of course, it's all for the emphasis. And then, um, <laughs> so about, let's say, two, three years ago, I, I started back in country. And let me tell you, they curse and they do a lot more these days. Yeah. I think it's like a decade makes up the difference. So. Well, aren't they the ones that came up with, if the truck is rocking, don't come knocking? <laughs> Yeah. Here's what I like. You you got Steven Tyler, his job as a judge on American Idol. Well, right? How about yes? Yeah. You were involved. I was. You suggested. Well, I got this crazy phone call from my friend Marty, who was like, "Hey, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? You want to write a song?" And I was like, "All right." He's like, "I got Steven Tyler in the car," and I'm like. What do you mean you got Steven Tyler in the car? He's like, no, we're going to come right now. So they drive up my driveway, and Steven gets out. And you know Steven, hey, how you doing? You know who oh, yeah. he is, right? And I was like, oh, my God, it's Steven Tyler. Like, and, you know, I'm throwing makeup on. I'm like, like I'm going to the prom, you know? And I, I grab this, like, crappy Yamaha keyboard that I've got. Like, for him, it's like driving a Yugo, you know? <laughs> and he sits down, and I order pizza, and I'm like, oh, I'm keeping that crust. And he starts playing Dream On, and I was just like, oh. Wow. And I just had this magical day with him for, like, four or five hours. And he was so kind and funny and talented that I, I gave his name to the producers. And I, and I texted him and said, hey, do you want to you know, be on American Idol? He's like, does it have good ratings? I was like, oh, I think so. Unbelievable, how does that I happen? I think so. Unbelievable, does it have high ratings? I love him for that though. He's like, does it have high ratings? So does yeah. It, yeah, so did you get a, a, a finder's fee? Like DirecTV, I've seen the commercial where you no, recommend no. somebody and they turn into money. Did you get money? I feel like I should get a finder's fee. I'm going to ask him to do a private concert for me. And some friends. That how about would be, that? Yeah, I'm still fascinated how he can be funny and musically and great sober. I, I'm, I, I don't understand. <laughs> that. Congratulations. So, so that's amazing. Yeah. Funny and sexy and all that. He is. So you stayed at, at Paul Abdul's house when at time when you were coming up. Yes. And, and, and was she a good roommate? Were things left out? Did she say, okay, like a, with white tape, this is yours. Uh, that's mine. Those are my potato chips. Don't. Those are yours. Well, those I are got your wheat thins. Yeah, <laughs> I got into a little trouble because she went away and she left me. Um, she let me stay in her place, and the maid at the time found some brownies, and took them out of the freezer and left them in the refrigerator. And I hadn't really eaten much that night and came home and there were like these. You know, little nuggets, little. Yeah. You know, you take six, not a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six hours later, I was like, "Hey, <laughs> what's going on?" Wait, wait. How you doing? Wait a minute. Oh yeah. 
I fell out of bed on the floor, and I was like, I stumbled downstairs, and I was like, brain tumor. <laughs> and, and the ambulance comes, and the guy's like, this bitch is high as a kite. And I was like, high as a kite! I don't even smoke powder! This bitch is high as a kite. And I was like, no, no, I don't do, I don't do no, no, I don't do pot. And so, you know, three days in bed, my father's like, Jesus Christ, you gotta go in the music as a bunch of drug addicts, you know? And I was like, but it wasn't, they weren't hers. Someone had left them, you know, from a party and frozen them. And the maid took them out. She had one. She went in the hospital. I had six. I almost died. That's sick. Oh, my God. I was, like, hallucinating. Yes. I, I was on IV. I you stumbled were... out like a junkie. I was like, cat, cat. Wow. It was bad news. In your bad. tiny little body, you had six, six of them? Six, man. And when they went down, I was like, damn, these things are good. <laughs> this shit is good. I got to get me more, though. Wow. That's... Exactly. That's great. What? Yeah. Does it help you write? I mean, you couldn't write then because you were in a coma. Day, <laughs> that day, no, I wasn't writing anything that day. But, you know, one of my favorite songs I co-wrote with Pink, <laughs> and we were, um, it was called Sober, and we were <laughs> drunk. Totally drunk. You were drunk when you wrote Sober? Totally drunk. Totally drunk. <laughs> I was so drunk that I remember leaving the studio and pulling over on the PCH and being like, I I think I'm really drunk. I shouldn't be driving. Like, I had to stay there for two hours and, like, sober up. It was really bad. But, you know, Pink Man, she is fun. She, yeah, she, she likes that. She is fun and one of the best singers I have ever Absolutely. worked with. Absolutely. Three takes this girl did the vocal. I had goosebumps. And the most underrated. To me, she's the best out there. Okay, so she's the best, but I also want to say to you, because I've known you for a while, you are underrated as a producer and as a writer and as a performer, and your show you. is very good. And it's, it, it has an element of being under the gun, which other shows don't have yeah. in music. So well, congratulations on that. You. And you have to write like that. That's... Yeah, but you do that anyway. You have to do that. Yeah. And I love your stories. Platinum Hit debuts Monday. It's a great show. 10 o'clock on Bravo. Cara Diaguardi. Wait a minute. I'm going to do that again. Platinum Hit debuts Monday at 10 o'clock on Bravo. Cara Diaguardi, everybody. Hi.